Oh, the, the Mandy shit. Oh, God. Oh, Mandy. You came and you teased with the picture. Now fucking go to bed, oh, Mandy. Drink time. Uh, Riketa, a long time ago, Riketa told a catfish named Mandy who was posting weird, lewd pictures in his locals chat. He got really turned up. He got really fucked up. And I talked about this on stream before. Um, he w went on and on about how he wanted to fuck Mandy. How if the second, the very nanosecond, his wife graced him with permission to fuck Mandy, he would stick his dick in Mandy. He would ravage Mandy. He would make passionate, sweet love to Mandy, this catfish on locals. And um, shortly after that, Nick started having a very visible decline in uh, his stability in life and eventually announced that someday after, like very close to the Mandy stream, he had what he called the worst day of his life. And it has been widely speculated that when the wife heard, after, just after, by the way, just after he had mentioned that his wife had been completely ruined, physically destroyed by the birth of his children. Uh, he went on this tirade about how he wanted to fuck this random woman from his locals chat. And then months later, he announced that someday very close to like very close after those two streams was the worst day of his life, which was presumably the start of some kind of relationship problem between them. It's been months since then. And now Riketa is singing songs to Mandy and, uh, there is evidence that she is actually not real at all. As this person goes over, the female fan of Nick Riketa's locals who started the thirst posting craze by posting a picture of her tits on October 22nd, which spiraled within a couple weeks to Nick posting a picture of a bottle wedged up his bare ass by November 22nd. The female fan who incessantly begged Nick on stream in 2022 and 2023 to attend an anime Matsuri convention he was appearing at, the female fan who Nick declared, I will sign your tits if she went to convention. The female fan who Nick lusted over so drunkenly and so disgustingly and openly in May of this year, asking a panel of his four guests, you know, Mandy, and declaring in the middle of his live stream that if he wasn't married, he would wreck her and that his wife would fawn over her if they met at convention. He later deleted his stream afterwards and wiped it off the internet and made a very brief effort to reduce his drinking on stream. Um, th this is, he asked... Alyssa clips to delete the clip um, and she did bearing a, a copyright complaint until I talked over it and then she re-uploaded it. Uh, the female fan who Nick thirsted over to the point that many people speculated that his on air comments about how his wife would fawn over her, which he later admitted was really shitty for my wife, were code for him wanting a threesome, even though he insisted I would never have sex with you or whatever. It turns out Rakeda's favorite you thought Mandy henceforth known as Mandy or Mandy has been catfishing the people in Rakeda's community, including Nick himself, for years. XF data reveals it is likely that the infamous topless pictures that she started posting in Nick's locals, uh, which was believed to be a decade-old photo based on its quality, was actually a photograph of a picture being displayed on a computer monitor taken by Mandy using her Nokia 2 B phone on February 2022. Uh, many of the photos weren't as old as they claimed to be. The photos stolen from the internet were digitally altered to degrade their quality. Crop scale down, likely to defeat reverse image searching. At least five of the pictures by Mandy were actually stolen from Reddit poster Submissive Little Toy, who gained tens of thousands of updates in 2016, posting nudes on subreddits such as Garn Wild. Mandy was a former Team Fortress 2 addict, with her Steam profile indicating that she averaged about 75 minutes of gameplay every day for nearly 12 years. Despite this, Mandy claimed to be too technologically inept to join a Discord Discord voice call. So, here we go, chat. A TF2 tranny, of which, let's be real, there are many, uh, stole photos of a random prostitute from Argon Wild and then digitally edited them so that he could catfish Nick Riketa and in the process destroyed his relationship with his wife. This is the world that we live in. This is why... You should never sump chat. No e-girls, never. Because you might fuck up your entire life uh, for someone who's, <laughs> who's not even real. Oh, Mandy. Such is life.
Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.